All right, this test is for Kevin Freeman. He says that the canteens are still disappearing when you die. I am gonna test that. I am going to let myself drown. Now, I'm gonna revert the save. I just want to let it happen and see if we lose our canteens. Because he was saying that he's still having that problem he started a new profile before the experimental, and this is experimental, by the way. And he was able to, he, he would die and he'd just lose all his canteens. Now, I know Cold Game said that only is supposed to happen to the free canteen that you get, the free equipment. And then the nine mil, you get a free one until you uh, place a base, a BCU. Once you've put a BCU down, you don't get a free nine mil anymore. So once you've placed that first BCU, you stop getting a free BC, uh, a free nine mil when you die, or a base. I have to check on it. I thought it was a storage box, but I'm not sure. Oh God, here it goes. I'm dead. And my box did degenerate. It's right there on the ground, so that's perfect. Oh, and I'm right here next to my old base. That's convenient. Not in distance, though. There's a lot of stuff. Stop hitting my base, you stupid bear. Not that it matters. Oh, go growl at yourself. Not in the mood. I just died. Okay, so I get a free canteen and a, a bandage, a hatchet, and a glow stick. Stuff that I am expecting. Ooh, hunters. I don't want to mess with the hunters. I don't need them chasing me and killing me again. Now, if it did happen, as long as I get back there within five minutes, the test would still be valid because I would have... You can have more than one death box down at a time. I'm calling it the death box to distinguish it from any other crate or box you might see in the game. Now, I've got to be careful because I'm in cougar country. Now I've got a bear growling at me. Please don't chase me, I have no stamina left. All right. You're lucky, chicken. I have no stamina. But I'm very, very hungry. Also, I'm gonna try something else out. Game Edge said that he hasn't gotten sick from eating meat. Now, I've proven more than once that you can get sick on spoiled meat. And I remember that when the getting sick it was initially added to the game and I was testing it, I got sick from chicken. I had raw chicken and I ate it. It wasn't spoiled chicken, it was just raw uncooked chicken and I got sick from it. I think that it's in the game. I just think it's very random. It doesn't happen very often but that you can get sick from eating raw meat in the game. I think I have a couple chickens. And since, like I said, this is just a testing world, I will be throwing this away and reverting back to my old save. I will go ahead and grab the chicken in front of my house and go ahead and, and kill it real quick and eat it. And we'll see if we get sick from it. So I hope we will have three or four pieces of chicken to find out if we can get sick from eating chicken. And yes, this is my announcer voice. No free range. Get back over here. Where are you? Come here, chicken. Level three or not? You're going down, mister. Oh, before I forget, let's go down and get my box. My box, my box. Take all. Okay, Cold Games. Uh, he was right. Kevin Freeman is definitely right. Your, your constructed, not the free ones, but your constructed canteens are still disappearing when you die. I don't know if that's intended. Oh, I kind of wish I had checked that other, my house, because I have canteens up there that are in the box. Okay, I've only got a few pieces that are raw. Let's go ahead and kill the chicken and butcher the chicken. Oh, I get one f one premium feather, even from a level three. Hmm, good to know. Don't have to keep the chicken around as, as long if that's all you're going for. And how many chickens? 
Aha, a couple more chickens. Butcher and butcher. A level three and I got premium chicken. That was a level three, wasn't it? I think that was a level three. Dude, a level three gave me one premium? Hmm, interesting to know. Interesting to know. Eat? No, eat. Okay, I got sick. Right there. You ha you are poisoned. So you can get sick from eating raw chicken. And I bet you raw rabbit will do the same thing. And I'm pretty sure any raw meats have the ability of doing it. I don't think it always will happen. I think it has ability. So that's the testing for today. You do lose all your canteens if they're in your inventory. And I will go ahead and rerun this. But I will do it off recording. So... You guys don't have to listen to it all, but I'll show you what happens if you do it and the canteens are in your inventory. Oh, wait a minute. I just run back to the uh, other house and check that real quick. So I'm going to cut away and I'll bring you guys back when I'm over there. All right. Welcome back, guys and gals. Here we go. What are we going to find? And okay, but the canteens in this box stayed. So the canteens that were on me disappeared. But the canteens stored in my box stayed. So that's what we found out. In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence. Now we're in the loading screen on my normal non-hardcore because I passed the night I was getting stuff ready for building and and a, a surprise I got some stuff taken care of but I started getting attacked when it happened and so I immediately exited saved and exited the game and I believe we're still going to be under attack once we get into the game oh yes we are sweet all right where are you guys at And, oh, they got helmets. They got smart, finally put helmets on. Ooh, that's a free arrow. I'll try to get out, I'll try to get out and get that when I can. I'm trying to take one of them out at least. Can. I don't know which one's which anymore, which is why I was kind of sitting in there and taking the hits. I was hoping to, to get, it, get at least one of them down. Man, they're all, all armored up now. What the hell are they shooting me with that knocks me back like that? That's just bull. Because none of my rounds do that when I shoot them. None of my rounds. I've never seen a hunter fly back like that before. I don't know if that was me being empty or him. That was him. Keep moving. Using a lot of supplies for... Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? I think he ran. No, nope. I just say I think I thought he ran off, but Woo. get that arrow real quick. Yes. Okay. Good. I wanted the arrow. <laughs> it doesn't make up for all the rounds that I used, but hey, I wanted the arrow. Yeah, these guys came fully armored up this time. Last time they didn't have any uh, helmets on, so I was able to one-shot them pretty easy. Plus the range didn't help. Uh, I kind of gave away what I'm getting. I was able to go out while I was... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Can't even speak right now. I'm so excited about the attack. While I was taking care of gathering resources, I ran into some cougars. Come on, let me... Let's see. No, not too bad. I hasn't taken hardly any damage, to be honest. I've got a good position for that. Now, supposedly, it's easier to get out of the water. 
Mm, I still find that the jump up method is better. If you just swim to the side, it doesn't work. But if you, I still say, yeah, you still kind of have to jump. Oh, hey. An ammo crate. Give me some of the ammo I just wasted back. No, it's not. I got a lot of rope. Uh, I went about through half of the, uh, oh, a rabbit wanted to join the colony. Darn it, he ran off. I used to have about half of my ammo that was on me. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not like the end of the world. But hey, they did give me a liver, right? All right, so I said that I had a surprise and it wasn't that my thing was that I've got my shotgun in the workbench. And how did I use mass? Seriously, how did I use mass? I could have sworn I had enough mass to make that happen. No, oh, it's way too much. Split. Split one. There we go. I am going to have a fully upgraded shotgun, boys and girls. Fully upgraded shotgun. That'll be my second, well not fully upgraded, a fully damage upgraded shotgun. We'll put it that way. I don't want to misspeak, I don't want to mislead my viewers. Okay, now there's something interesting. Nothing comes up when I do that, but, hmm. <laughs> it didn't mean anything. It just happened to be that's where I dropped it on. All right, let's get that lever before it burns. We don't want to pull on Ono. Oh, no. That was odd, but okay. And is it cooked? Cooked liver. Man, I'll go ahead and eat it. It was a free liver from the Goon Squad. So, not bad. Let me go and put these supplies away real quick. Now, I didn't do anything with the... With that one storage chest that I have to figure out how I'm going to try to get it back underneath the floor. I used up a ton of my cordage, either making all this and or making rope. So, I am going to be on a cordage hunt. It's been a while since I actually had to go, you know, I'm low on cordage. Well... Now I'm low on cordage, and I should have eaten the meat I had on me before I ate the meat that the hunter left for me. The subsidence that the hunter left for me. And, but they did give me two rifle rounds. I wonder if they were shooting me with the rifle, and that what was, is what was knocking me back. Speaking of that, I need to start upgrading the rifle. I've got a lot of ammo for it right now. Now, here's the thing. I have a fully upgraded shotgun, but I'm getting low on shotgun ammo. That sucks. I like having uh, a lot of shotgun ammo, and I'm starting to feel kind of naked without it. Not naked in a bad way, naked in a good way. I don't know, is there a, a, a good way to be naked? You know, that conversation just needs to be left on the drawing room floor, Drop. The common uh, the conversation just let it go let it go buddy all right let's go ahead and get building i am going to leave my nine mil and my bow i like having the nine mil in slot two it's just it's right above w for me so it's really quick and easy to get to that's why i'm leaving it where it's at and then i will have the rest of my room for building now, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work yet. This is a, uh, a structure. Yeah, I don't have all the pieces I need to make it work, but I have most of the pieces. All right, if I remember correctly, this is a full foundation. So this is gonna be the outside part of the foundation, which means I need rotate that that there 
because like I said, I'm gonna make, ev I like everything to be circles. So I'm gonna create another circle here. So it's not like I have two extra floors because I can use this for but I'll, I have, I think I have an idea to make this work. Let me go ahead and put the curved part of the wall in real quick, or part of the floor. Now these are ceilings. I'm once again using ceilings as floors. They make beautiful floors, especially since they are supposed to be uh, floating on the, the water's surface. There we go. And one more. Cool. Not bad. I mean, it's all, the original idea was to keep as much distance between the electrical equipment that makes all the noise and my house. I prefer my house to be nice and quiet. The last thing I want is all these electronics just making noise and, you know, this is supposed to be the countryside. I want mother nature to be able to flow and ebb as she sees fit. What the hell am I talking about? I found like some kind of tree hugger. I promise I'm not a trigger. I like trees, but I don't go around hugging them. Uh, I've climbed it. Well, that's not true. I have actually uh, hugged a tree for dear life because I thought I was gonna fall out. That's about the only time I hug a tree, I guess, to be honest. All right. This is going on actually rather quickly. I thought it'd take a little bit longer. I might have to go hunt a, a cougar with my shotgun. Now, I am I am convinced that I will not be able to take down a level three cougar with my uh, shotgun. Even though my shotgun has been upgraded, it's just never gonna happen. Now the question is, oh, actually I know where I can use, no, these are full ones, aren't they? Hmm, I don't have a place to put these. I'd hate to scrap them, but that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. We'll see. Let me go ahead and get this piece out of here. And for right now, it can occupy that space. Now, I shouldn't have hunters attacking this area, but part of the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the hunters having easy access to this area to damage my generators and stuff like that. Two generators are going. I'm going to turn that one off. Turn that one off. And use the, uh, some fuel up in these. I want to get my power back up to a, a good level. And because I ate the wrong meat, I'm going to switch it out. That should reset the timer on this meat. And that's a fresh piece of meat out of the freezer now. I am going to be putting a roof on here. It's going to be a full circular roof. Now, Bloodstalker came up with an amazing idea, and I'm kind of jelly because I didn't think of it. The man came up with the idea of using the roof area. Well, do I have the support? Oh, I just put that one. I'll leave it. Let me see. I'm not going to use it right now. I mean, it is, it is his idea. And I think it's an amazing idea. When you put up roof pieces, I need to get some more supplies. I am low on first aid equipment. Let's grab that, that, and that. First aid kits. One, two, three. Bandages. One, two, and three. I'll make an extra one. And one more to grow on, right? And now, nails is the one. Now, I used up a lot of nails either building or getting my mass up for getting my weapon upgraded. I went through a lot of nails for that, but it was worth it. All right, roof, curved, one, two, three, four, for sure. And then compact, no, slanted. One, two, 
Okay, I got one done. All right, I'll need to make some more lumber. I need to get a lot more trees. I'm definitely getting short. I'm running out of wood. I need to, I need to restock my supply of wood. I'm not sure if that sounds bad or what, but definitely doesn't sound enticing. Mm. Let me show you what he did. He took, I don't know if I can see him up here. All right, when you, if you put a, I'm not gonna pull it out, but if you put this wood ceiling up under this right here, it creates an open cavity. And you can put this piece of wood here and then you can stack crates in this area three or four wide four wide should it should fit four wide and then you've got your storage above your head up here and it's off the floor that saves room for everything else that you have to put on the floor so this could actually fit on there you know i do it this way so i can stack two up here and i can put two down here or in this instance i've got storage stacked all the way across here and then i can put equipment underneath it or I tuck it in there. But his idea was to actually put it up in the rafters. And that's actually a really good idea. I, like I said, I wish I had thought of that and I didn't think of that. So bravo Bloodstalker. And, it, and it's not Bloodsucker. I, I, I got confused with somebody else. It's Bloodstalker 101. Please, whatever you do, all my subscribers, please, I am begging you. When you go to Bloodstalker's channel, make sure to call him Bloodstalker and not Bloodsucker. I don't I don't want to create any kind of rift between me and my, my buddy. His name is Bloodstalker, not Bloodsucker. So whatever you do, whatever you do, don't call him Bloodsucker, okay? I think he's really sensitive to that, and I don't want to piss him off, all right? If you love me. If you love me, you'll call him Bloodstalker, not Bloodsucker. Remember that. Call him Bloodstalker, not Bloodsucker. All right, cool. As long as that, that my public service message for the day has gotten through to you guys, we're good to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can catch what I'm throwing, right? You, you see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. I just, got, just, just two more, just two more, and I can get done today. And I, and I'll, and I, I promise, I'll, I won't build any more today. Ugh! And I won't use up bandages anymore for. Ugh. I hate when I do that. I hate when I waste bandages because it's a waste. I, I'm horrible on accent. Anybody that has a southern accent, please just understand that I was born in Florida, okay? So I don't know what southern is. All right, let's just be honest. I am not a southern boy. I'm a city boy. I was just born in below the south. All right, my... Uh, Smelter just ran out of stuff to smelt. I have to go fix that in a second. But come on, there we go. All right, one more curved one. Those are the funny ones to get in. Once I get the curved ones in, the rest are pretty easy. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, can I get out now? No, I can't because this is too high. I can't jump over this. I can jump over a railing, but I can't jump over this. Go figure, right? Stick that there. Twice. Push it forward and it slots in perfectly. I don't know how I'm gonna work the center yet. I, I will work it, I just don't know how I'm gonna work it yet. And the rest is just gonna have to wait. But let's, uh, let's go upstairs to see how it looks. I think it's going to look alright. I don't think it's going to create any odd formations or anything like that. You know, we, we don't want it make we don't want it to make make it look like anything odd. All right, so that's my front. And that's my back. Mm, actually, it's looking pretty good. I like that. Has a nice curve here, a straight piece and then another curve. Cool. I'm not going to get rid of those rails. I'm gonna to try to figure out what I can do with them. If I have to, I'll stack them, but I'll stack them all in the same location. Ooh, you gotta be careful, I don't wanna break a leg or something. So yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. I'll worry about the rest of this later on. Oh yeah, I do have one extra ceiling piece I can put in. And make sure it's going in the right location. There we go. 
Now, I don't know if the wood itself causes a sound dampening. That I cannot confirm. I don't have good enough ears to do that. Let's go ahead and swap out the meat again so I've got fresh meat on me. And let's eat that before I head out and eat that. I mean, come on, I have a shotgun that needs testing. So we're going hunting for cougars because I am completely out of rope. I've got one sinew. Wait a minute, I'm out of something else. What else am I out of? Oh, no, that was just my second row of nails. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, what else am I out of? Oh, no. I have another set of hunters, they never came. Let's see, split one. So I should grab water too. I only have one chicken and I have free range. My chicken coop's fully upgraded. So a single chicken doesn't eat or drink too much. It's, I'm usually okay. I can leave the chicken for a, about a day or two ish without being too worried about it but I will fill up your pen completely perfect now if I got stuck away for a, a, a day I'd be fine now one of my viewers suggested they wanted to try to kill a cougar with a bow and arrow if you have premium arrows you could do it but I think the only way to do it is either get a rock that has a flat face that the cougar can't get up or uh, you would have to do the shoot run when they stop running turn around shoot again start running method and it would probably take four or five arrows you could basically run the entire map now the problem with that is your stamina could and probably will run out before the cougar dies. If it's a level three cougar, I think the cougar is gonna outlast you. You can try it, capture it on video, that'd be kind of cool. But unless you're using a foundation or a flat-faced cliff, a flat-faced rock that the cougar can't come up, you're not gonna be able to kill a cougar with a bow and arrow. Now you could, you could switch to the bow and arrow if you're really quick if you're really lucky and attempt to take out the cougar that way meaning do as much damage with your normal weapons oh it's just got a little damage uh, it's got a you know one more gunshot will kill it let me pull out my bow and finish it off you know in that case I could do all the damage with my regular weapons it's got a sliver pull out my hatchet and attempt to kill it with my axe could is it possible yes would I ever try it no unless I had a death wish and I don't have a death wish unless I'm doing testing. Cold games. I don't know how long it took you to work out the cougar's animation on death. That is some of the coolest crap I have ever seen in a video game. All right, seriously. Can you apply it to the hunter, uh, to the bears and to the wolves? Because of that death animation, with the cougars. I have got some seriously cool artwork that I use for thumbnails now. And I would love to uh, give that treatment to your hunt, uh, your bears and your wolves. But unfortunately, when they kill you, there, there is no animation. So if it's possible, could you add that to the bears and the wolves? I think that would, right now the cougar is just like, Wow. I mean, it brings something cool. If you want to leave it just as the cougars, because the cougar is an apex predator, and it's one of those little Easter egg things, then I'm good with it. But if it is possible, I would love to see the same treatment given to the bears and the wolves. That would be really cool. All right, that's my message to Cole Games for the day so far. All right, there's two crates in this. I got to be careful in this area. If it's not the regular hunters in the area, rogue hunters love this little this little indention around this tree. Oh, a spawn. Is the game trying to tell me something? Am I about to break my leg? Well, I shouldn't complain. It does save me a bandage, right? No cougar, come on. 
don't tell me the cougars found out that I'm carrying a, uh, a fully upgraded, uh, power upgraded shotgun. My damage on my uh, shotgun is fully upgraded. They'll they'll never come hunting for me again. This it, it's my life's gonna be in seriously. Where the hell? I heard you growl. I don't know where the hell you were at. I must have walked right underneath them, right around them. Hmm. It's okay. I've got a place for me. Right here. Bye bye. Uh, level three too. You'd be a waste of a. Don't mess. Is he seriously gonna start chasing me again? That's gonna be hilarious. He's stalking me, not chasing me. Okay, we're good. You're not when I'm hunting. Do not try it. So I've got one hunter attack. I have no cougars to show for it. Oh. All right, we're gonna start heading home and hoping that I find a cougar on the way. Oh, my hunter ba hunter's finally attacked. I don't think I'll make it back in time. But, darn, hunters should have attacked when I was building. That was the whole point. <laughs> that was kind of loud if it was at my base. That sound really carries well. I don't know, maybe the mountain is reflecting sound now? That'd be cool. Because in real life, if you're close to a mountain and there's a sound further away, the sound can get re uh, reflected from the mountain and cause it to sound a lot closer to you than it actually is. If you're doing search and rescue for, for people, it can really confuse you. Uh, you think a helicopter's close, to, or if you're lost in the woods, you think a helicopter is really close to you, and in reality, it's far away. But the sound of the helicopter is making is being reflected off of rock or surfaces in your area, and it makes it sound louder than it actually is. Don't know why I'm spouting out stuff like that. It's it's just that was a short attack. I don't hear anything else going on. One shotgun blast and one grenade. I'm not gonna make it back in time, so I'm looking for a cougar. I see wolves. You know, I think what it is is the wolves moved or the spawned in instead of the cougars. There's only so many spawns allowed in a certain area, and wolves were spawned in instead of cougars. Oh, oh, oh! You're only at level one, though. I'm sure this is gonna take you out as a level one. Come here. Let's test though. Come here. Come here. Uh, I aimed correctly. Ouch. Um, you remember when I said, is the game trying to tell me something? Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Good one, Cole Games. Good one. See, he knew it was going to happen, so he was being nice and giving me a splint. That's what it was. Nice. Five sinew off a level one cougar. Now, that was my fault. If, uh,. I was standing right about here. He was on a lower area coming up. It's always best to try to be in a flat area if you're gonna entice the animal to attack you because you don't want an elevation change, especially at the last minute with the uh, with anything, with any kind of animal. Because then you're just wasting ammo because you're gonna shoot it either in the back or underneath and possibly miss it completely. And if you wanna try to do that, shotgun blast to the face and take out an, a an animal with one shot it really needs to be right in the face the more directly in the face you can get it the better waste of ammo oh man do i have two chase it sounds like i have two chasing me yes it's two chasing me Now it sounds like one. And it looks like he stopped. Okay, good. I don't need any meat, so I'm not gonna waste any ammo on him. Let's be honest, I already wasted enough ammo on that, on the, the hunters that attacked and the uh, cougar that I uh, screwed up the first shot. Good. 
eat and eat and drink. Get my stamina back up. Now, if everything is, is like it's supposed to be, ooh, damn, dude, your time is almost up. You better lay me some more eggs. That's what I'm talking about, because you ain't got much more time on this earth. Fair warning's been given, bird. Yeah, I should have stoked my fire before leaving. Both of these are out. Well, that's fine. My power got fully loaded, so that's good. As I say, you guys coming back for thirds? No, they're messing around with animals again. I hope you guys have a good time. <laughs> but my time is definitely expired. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye.